Hundreds of youth from around the world experienced a Catholic Mass in Windsor today. Annette Gurner reports from St. Joseph's Church in River Canard. began with Mass at St. Joseph Church. Over 140 pilgrims staying in the River Canard area participated. Pero el Espíritu mismo ruega Dios por nosotros. The offerings brought to the altar by Polish, Costa Rican and American pilgrims. Hands held showed the, the unity of among Savior, all. And the sign of peace, most certainly prominent. After Mass, the excitement started to heighten, as the road to World Youth Day is now only hours away. Here, from Poland. Uh, I just can't wait. From Michigan. Being part of this group makes me happy. And from Costa Rica. We are very happy because we are united by one person. Oh my God. Let them be pilgrims now and forever. Those on the road to you filled with your spirit and the joy of your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Although hundreds of pilgrims have been in our area for a day or two, the journey begins bright and early tomorrow morning on a once-in-a-lifetime trip to World Youth Day in Toronto. In River Canard, Annette Gurner, News Now. And in nearby LaSalle, more World Youth Day festivities. Local artist Roy James was inspired by the drawings of area youth and created a mural of those drawings. Pilgrims staying in LaSalle and members of the community gathered to paint the mural in Gilmar Park. The mural will depict the World Youth Day theme, You are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world. I tried to capture different ethnic uh, cultures and so forth and certainly the joy of youth. Uh, some of them on the front of the building are, uh, I hope we, we captured the exuberance of youth because that's a special time. And future leaders of the Catholic Church took part in a special celebration today in London. And all of the priests who have come from uh, Asia and Africa and South America, Central America and North America to all of you, our sincere greetings. Bishop John Sherlock led a mass on the grounds of St. Peter's Seminary this morning. The seminary has been hosting an international conference for young priests and seminarians as part of World Youth Day celebrations. More than 100 priests participated in this morning's mass. Many of them will be heading to Youth Day Festival near St. Thomas tomorrow before going on to Toronto for the 